Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dave from Colorado. A couple of things I want to talk about right now. First one is this newest thing that's going around. I've heard other people say that it can't be mentioned or the videos will get deleted. So I won't mention what it is, but I will mention that I have multiple sclerosis. Um, it's primary progressive MS, as everybody knows, and I've said it a bunch of times. But I'm on the medication Ocrevus. Now, Ocrevus is an immune suppressant. What that means is it takes away certain cells, and the cells that it takes away to fight the MS are the lymphocytes, which are the same cells that are used to fight the current thing that's going around um that means that nobody in my house can bring it into the house otherwise it's very easy for me to catch it i can't fight it off and the symptoms of it are extremely harsh um and and would be amplified or exacerbated by the current evil that's going around right now um just not something that's fun for me or for anybody else that's on this medication right now this has caused me to come up with several conspiracy theories first one is nancy pelosi and the other democrats want donald trump to win the presidency um, if you think about everything that they've done, they are, uh, oh, itch, 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 sorry. They are acting in a way that would very easily cause him to win the election. Um, that, that's my first conspiracy theory. My second conspiracy theory is that they're trying to do everything they can to keep him from winning. Um, which also makes a lot of sense. If you think about it, they were saying a way to keep him from winning is if the economy was doing bad or if jobs were going downhill. Um, any of the things that he had bragged about doing, if, if those were reversed, he would automatically lose the election. So they held the articles of impeachment for a while until they knew that the current evil that's going around the world could come here and become as bad as it is or even worse so they held the articles of impeachment for a while until they knew it was coming and then they tried impeaching him based on their bs arguments which everybody knew weren't going anywhere and then uh as he's shutting down travel to China, and as he's closing the borders, they're trying to distract him with this impeachment. And they're just trying to distract the American population with this impeachment. And it got so bad that we are seeing the economy go downhill. We are seeing people lose their jobs. We are seeing this huge recession. But it's not something that was created because of bad leadership and bad policies. This is an outside virus that attacked everybody in the U.S. So he stepped up to the plate and he's working in favor of the American people. He, very cautiously, but working in favor of the American people. Trying to help everything out the best that he can. Which isn't something that Pelosi or the other Democrats had expected him to do. But those are just my two of my wild out there theories. Um, I, I'm I know there's a lot more, but uh, currently, you know, those are my distractions from what's really happening in this current thing, the medication that I'm on, making me extremely susceptible, and because of everything that's going on. My wife was laid off work early. Normally she is able to go until 
middle April, beginning of May, de-icing airplanes at the airport. But they've grounded all the non-essential travel. Most of the airplanes are grounded. So they let her go mid-March, which is truly devastating because of how much earlier it was and how much less money is saved up in the account uh, for people who are out of work. Um, sort of unemployment. It's just, it's, it's bad all the ways around. You look at it. But uh, those are just my little theories right now. You know, and another thing that I, I want to mention, and it's going to be just a quick mention, I watch Curtis McFarlane. Absolutely good producer, wonderful distraction from the, the realities of life right now. Um, makes me absolutely wish I could do the things that I used to be able to do. Uh, but unfortunately, I can't. So watching him is the next best way. And he recently held a race at the racetrack that he just purchased. Um, they called it the Freedom 500, where they brought in a whole bunch of Crown Vicks and a whole bunch of YouTubers and raced everybody against each other. It was a pay-per-view event. They spent a lot of money or a lot of time getting it set up, and they were hoping to earn a lot of money from the pay-per-view. There were people on YouTube rebroadcasting that for free. And when you're looking at an entrepreneur, a small business owner, trying to do something from the ground up like that, and you've got people cheating the system and essentially stealing from him, that's intolerable. I mean, I'm waiting for them to post the race so I can watch it. I'm excited to see it. I'd love to watch one of the one of the people rebroadcast it for free. But I can't bring myself to do that because I don't want to contribute to the theft that is what they're doing. Um, so I'll just wait for it to come out for free from them. But uh, so that that's all I've got to say right now. Um, Go ahead and like my video, subscribe to my channel, pass it along so other people subscribe. Maybe they can chip in some some of their off-the-wall theories, too. Um, it would be fun to hear other people's opinions. Right now, I've only got 16 subscribers. I'd like to see a lot more. Um, I have set up a GoFundMe to try to help my family through this tough time with having MS. It has made it extremely difficult for us to do anything. Pay rent, pay electricity pay anything cat food cat litter gas for the car is cheap though so at least we got that covered but uh anyways like subscribe share all the usual stuff that everybody says don't forget to hit that little bell notification and i mean it's what everybody says um because youtube doesn't push anybody that's not mainstream media and i hope they push my channel because I don't typically talk about things other than MS and what I'm going through and what my family's going through. Um, I'll post another video probably tomorrow um, or in a couple of days. It's cold as heck out right now, so we're not going outside, but I've been outside every day so far. Um, but, all right. I'll catch you later.